Hello, everybody, and welcome to Horizon Forbidden West. We are currently doing Shadow from the Past quest, which says... Am I reading? Are you reading? Oh, the, the narrator, <laughs> no. A Karja guard stands accused of murdering a fellow soldier. He insists it was in self-defense, though no evidence has been found to back his claim. That's right, that's the guy that uh, said, hey, there's Shadow Karja, and they're like, no, right. there's not. And he killed somebody, and uh, we are trying to see if he's innocent oh. or if there's Shadow Karja. There's a lot of blood. Is that a bird? Yes, that is a bird. Can I shoot said bird? Yes. Ha ha ha, that was like a headshot. Conover says he saw the headshot. There was a murder Name. at this place, but it was a crow. It's a murder of crows. Well, if you if you know that game, I guess I don't know if you would know the game I'm referring to. I don't know if it's been any other games, but you know what that's from? Like really deep, it's like headshot. Focus can tell me if there really was a third person here. Oh, sorry, I'm yawning. I know, I, I know, yes I do. Headshot. Oh gosh, it's not coming to me though. I don't remember. The, the one I know of, wow, you, you're not paying attention. Like I just kind of walked up to you, close to you. The one I know of is Counter Strike. I don't oh, okay, know if it's okay. only so, on oh, there's Counter Strike. A path here, her. <clears throat> yeah. Ah, I don't know if it's only on Counter Strike. Human footprints. Okay. You might okay. have to actually examine probably examine them. them first. Yeah, which would make sense, you know. See, you know, I, I don't know that much about footprints and the whatever. Search party. Not helpful. Stupid Karja. Um, but. At least from the Sherlock Holmes books I've read, uh, there is, which it does make sense, there's some correlation between the length of your stride and how tall you are. Broken so if you can see the stride of a person, you can guess idea. roughly how, how tall they are. Yeah. yeah. Because there's like, most people fall within the standard proportions. You know, you have some people who have really long arms compared to, you know, they'd be kind of the outlier, but anyway. I. Don't, I have not I read the Sherlock Holmes books. I did get the collection or something on audiobook. And I really like Sherlock. Mm. I really like I I love Sherlock Holmes. I love the show Sherlock. It's awesome. The books I was not very impressed with. <laughs> oh no, 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 Burrower. Like I did not like how I mean, and and maybe it was just a few of them. I don't know. One, it seemed like they were a lot shorter. Maybe I got like a short stories or something. I don't know. It just seems very. But like the way it was is like um, you're seeing it all from uh, Watson's point of view, and like there's no intensity. It's like oh Watson's in this place, and then. Uh, oh, this stuff happens. Like, what's going on? Oh, Sherlock is doing this stuff. Whoa, what, what is he doing? He's like, all this weird stuff. So the whole time, the whole book, you have no idea what's going on. Until the very, very end when he's already solved the case and then he tells you everything. It's like, mm. I don't like that point of view. I don't like that. Ha! I don't Watson, know. you fool. Idiot. How could you not see all this stuff? It's so well, obvious. Be like Watson. Elementary. Meet me, at, meet me at this place. I need you to bring a screwdriver, a bag of nuts, and a. And he's like, and a I'll, toothbrush. Okay, like, oh, I'll uh, go. <laughs> I don't know. To me, it's just. I don't know. Maybe. I, who knows? I, I'm <laughs> probably just not my cup of tea or whatever. But maybe those books were different because I. I know I've. I feel like we had mom read them to us when we were kids. I don't remember. I just, but those I was like, man, these are not. I don't even have any stealth know. gear. Y'all are terrible. That's crazy. There's the uh, the like recordings. Looks like very saturated. Oh. I don't have any effects on it. Yeah, there's no. There's no. Uh, this is weird. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't no believe effects. that I've. Um, Noticed it being crazy different, but I'm I mean also, it's not you know. crazy. Maybe maybe my TV is just not is not is on a. It doesn't look desaturated on my TV, but the recording just looks very saturated. It doesn't look bad. It's just a little so bit more it, than I'm used it, to. It is funny to me, like the you know just because they're giving you a trail to follow, even though it's marked with their focus. If you were losing this much blood every 12 feet, you would be dead within like 300 feet. 
Like it just, there's no way you, oh, hi, boar. I can be able to kill it. Oh, he's got, you need to like give him a scratch. Okay, you got that, it. Okay, I think I shot his like, the little part of his leg somehow. So I think, what, I, I totally, I totally wasn't listening to her at the Where did you go crime to? scene. Is she seeing like, oh, there was another person there and they got away and that's who we're following? I think it's, yeah, there was, there was trail, there's a trail leading away from Baron Light, which ah. so far everybody involved with the murder either was dead or went back to Baron Light. So who is this person that went oh, away from Baron Light? Okay, okay. I think that's the, the, the gist of it. There's another person. Just like I no, no, what I was going to say is what you're talking about Sherlock Holmes and whatnot. I'll go ahead and take this guy out just so he's out of the way. Um, so many times uh, he, you know, he's like, watch and bring these things, you know, a piece of, you know, piece of, they don't, I guess I don't know when tape was invented, but it's like, Level seven. you know, they're like, you know, this, uh, you know, binoculars and a toothbrush. And then, and then, you know, Watson doesn't know what he's going on. So he's like, okay, sure. Let's go and level up too. Um, and he, and ends up being like, uh, Sherlock Holmes just like I just wanted to see what I could get you to bring. Yeah. Like, it's like I don't need any of that stuff. It's like that scene from Guardians where he's like, and I need that guy's leg. Yeah, he's like, yeah. All right. He's like, I just want to see. <laughs> yeah, I just want to see if you'd do it. The trail ends here. Must have climbed up to that cave. With that injury, I hope that he's on his last legs. How could he climb up to this? Like, what, what he's spilling out blood like that? Well, he did bandage himself, which you know, bandages increase your. Uh, health regeneration rate, you know, yeah, like and, and, and it <laughs> stops bleeding as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I mean, you, you would be more likely to be able to do that. That doesn't mean you could. You want to jump across. Can I do that? Yes. Okay, I guess that works. I was like, I don't, well, I would not jump from there. That's a very, very, like, not. This looks okay. like a good place for someone to hide. It's an old tunnel. And look at that. There's, There's a corrupter. scarab. Scarab? Yeah, they're, they're, they're the the name of the actual like is pharaoh Scarab? name is Scarab. Yeah, uh, that I that I remember. I'm pretty sure it's Scarab. Then the big ones were called. Biggies. Oh, what were those called? Yeah, big son of a guns. Yeah. <laughs> um, There's people talking. I don't remember the ones that manufactured the other one. The, the ones that like were the moving. Yeah. Not moving they were called Horus, something something Horus, like the T four eight Horus. Blah blah blah. No Larvix no. dead. Ah, Eclipse cultist. So either that fool guard killed him, or he's lost his nerve. We'll just have to blast our way through the gates, and then what? Rayad was our only link to Vezra, and now he's dead too. We'll track Vezra if we have to. But first, we have to get past Baron Light. Next change of guard, we go in fast and loud. Conover was right. I have to stop them before they hurt anyone. Wait, else. wait, 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 wait. No, 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 you just stood up. I didn't need to do that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that was funny. You lucky winner. <laughs> you next guy. <laughs> Come on, takes care of that. It sounds like there's more eclipse beyond the daunt. If this Rayad was their only link to them, he might have a. He might have a focus. I'm guessing that's Rayad. Blood trail must have been his. I was right. Rayad has a focus. All right, let's see what Rayad had to say. He's smiling. He's like, yeah. <laughs> Hi. Loyal Eclipse. If you're seeing this, it means you've left the Sundom in search of something to follow. Your journey is almost over. Follow the sun beyond the gates of barren light. And bask in the gloom of future conquest. A new empire awaits. I'll have to pay this Vezra a visit. And crush his new Eclipse Empire before it begins. The Eclipse is alive and well. Light. Ouch. So what? So, oh no, examine his corpse. You have to go back. Ryad's mask should be enough to prove Conover's innocence. I better take it back to Baron Light. 
the Oh, I thought you already picked up the mask. Like corpse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, interesting. All right, yeah, now we can fast travel back to the place. All right, time to prove that guy Conover uh, that, that, that he's I'll, innocent. It's like when is your when is when is your um, execution scheduled? A uh, couple so, days. Okay, I'll I'll be back. I should yeah. be back. I'm, Before then, <laughs> I love drama. I want to wait till the very last minute, like right when they're right when the executioner is about to kick the the barrel from under your feet, so you fall yeah. and you're hanging there. No, real, there's a there's a YouTuber we follow that plays that plays Skyrim. There's a particular part they walk into solitude and he guy's about to get his head cut I off and, and he's part. like don't worry uh there's a dragon that'll spawn right before you, and then he <laughs> gets his head cut off because he's like oh wait never i love never that. mind that so funny because oh, so when that for her for you hey, that's what happens <laughs> did you find anything but no eclipse fugitives were camped yes, we out on the other side of the forest and they were getting ready to fight their way through barren light you just helped save a lot of lives aloy you know i believe you but nozar he might not be convinced by your words alone. If he needs proof, show him that. And tell him the man he's got locked up risked his life to expose and eliminate an Eclipse spy. Huh. I guess you are his savior. Congratulations, soldier. You're a free man. I'll have you out of there before sunfall. I'll make sure this gets to Nozar. I'll have you out of there in a <laughs> few days. Like, but my execution is tomorrow. Soldier. Like. Well, I can only I'm see sure in two that days. It, yeah, I'm sure the logistics won't make any errors yeah. regarding that. Yeah. <laughs> weeks ago, their leader is dangerous, and he's out there in the Forbidden West, building up an army. Sun and Shadow, you're going out there to stop him, aren't you? I'm gonna try. I want to help. I can fight. I know you can, but you've been through a lot. Once you're out of that cell, you should enjoy your freedom. You've earned it. Take them out, savior. Also, there's a whole lot that you don't know. Uh, and I, don't, I don't know if you want to learn more. You know, it's kind of like you're a you're a little child who still Absolutely lives with have. his parents, and his only worry is I'm going to go to bed at eight. Right. And right. like, no, mom and dad are have a lot to. On their minds. That's how Aloy is. She's like, I've got the fate of the world on my hand, my shoulders. Hmm. Uh, so we do have a couple side quests. Do you want to do a side quest or do you want to continue? Oh, yeah. Oh, that we can't do until we open up the thing. Um, This one's the Twilight Karja camp. And then there's one way up here to go to the mines to check out some miners. They may be trapped, but we're not real sure. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't gone through there. I haven't gone there yet. They'll be like, whoa, fine. Whoa. Um, I, like, I guess just to kind of let us come back to this, I may just move on. And then okay. that way we can kind of hop back and forth. Maybe. I don't know. I do want to try to, as best I can, stay on one quest for the most. Yeah. I wouldn't say for the most part, but it's kind of like Good if it's... Kind of see it through that you're not doing like, yeah, okay, I gave yeah. this guy mushrooms because he needed them. I don't remember why. And right. Yeah. So like what I mean by that is if it's like trek across the entire, you know, like this one is very far away, probably just do another quest for now. Something that's not crazy far away. Like this one's obviously right here, but I'm meaning like, okay, the next quest here, the next quest here, you know, kind of the mm. steps. Um, Beyond me. Or if it's like main story, maybe get to a, stopping point and then move on to something else i did want to uh how do i craft oh it makes two nice okay cool i've got nine that, that'll be fine for a while and just killing whatever randomly uh uh wildlife not people yeah <laughs> just killing randomly you know things here and there patience does not hasten the tanakh nora only our annoyance it has been how long has it been like a week a week where are they now? Yeah. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Is the second I, yeah, I'm going envoy now. here oh, thanks, yet? But I've Whatever. waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You <laughs> she just not. walks away. Someone approaching on a machine. Hey, it's Varl. How, how did he override that? Uh, maybe no. It's this probably the same one that they were writing. Oh yeah, probably. Unless he has, unless he, there's a reason why it would have 
been gone. Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate. That is a direct order. Sorry, can't do it. I'm asking nicely. I, I don't know what to do. Hey, Bar. Hi, Aaron. Uh, <laughs> His I skin is not loaded uh, properly. Open try to stand in a way. the It's not gonna work. gates. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Oh, come on, really? Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, nose off. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King Avad is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Saving the world. And when we started that was easy, he backed yeah. wait, he I backed down really easily. Made it just in time. So if I had waited any longer, or not any longer, if I had yeah. gone last time, Var would not have made it. Yeah, we you had know. to. We had to record. So we had to give Varl a week to catch up to us. Gosh, so permission to go west. He's pretty slow. Yeah. Well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to. Hey, tall neck. You see it way, way over there. Started yet? Way over We're there. Just gonna barge in. Can't really That's a tree. It, I saw it. I, it. I'll zoom in on the. I'll now zoom in on the video. <laughs> I guess I do. We'll see how it goes. So All right, our when, first exposure to the Tanakh. When they the start an all-out oh, war is, yeah. with the Tanakh, right? There's a th. Um, Aloy can Aloy will be all right, um, all right. blamed. <laughs> we come in peace. That's not the procedure, but yeah. procedures eh. procedures are good. But I've been trying to reach you about your car's extended, extended warranty. <laughs> that is the line between east and west. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parley or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold. She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. Yeah, that's apparently the uh, king's cousin. Yep. Which is like, so you're not a prisoner. That's good. A fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding Fashav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the army of the setting sun. You're Fashav. Avad gave me a message for you. That he waits for you in Meridian, where you belong. Hmm. <laughs> Avad always was polite. Well, now I'm even more curious about you knowing that you have the confidence of the Sun King. But such an association with the Karja could work against you here. As it often has with me. As you can see. Tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help. But I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. 
How did you come to be among the Tanakh? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. Are you sure you want to hear it? I guess we have time. Very well. I marched with Sun King Jaran's raiders when they came west, hoping to moderate their worst impulses. I failed, of course. They committed unspeakable atrocities, stirring the Tanakh into action. When the clans overran our forward encampment at Cinnabar Sands, I stayed behind to help the last stragglers evacuate. I was taken prisoner. I didn't make it easy for my captors, mind you. <laughs> and they paid me back in kind on the journey to their capital. I lost so much blood on the way that I was white as a corpse when they threw me before Chief Hikaro. I thought I was dead for sure, so I resorted to desperate measures. So when you met the Tanakh Chief, you did something desperate? Now, I'd kept my ears open as the Tanakh dragged me along, and I heard mutterings about a kind of trial by combat that they revere. So, when they flung me at Hikaro's feet, I demanded this right, called the Kurut, thinking that by winning I could request a boon, my life or even my freedom. The other Tanakh howled, but Hikaro stared them down, and then his gaze fell upon me. Evidently, he appreciated my ingenuity. He allowed me to participate in the cool route. Little did I know what I was in for. You said the cool route is a Tanakh trial by combat. Yes. But it is no ordinary trial. It doesn't pit men against each other, at least not directly. Instead, the combatants fight machines in a great arena, and only the strongest survive. Believe me. It is no easy thing to stare down a charging machine while hundreds around you scream for blood. I know more about that than you might think. Do you? Well, then you have my respect. Like you, I lived through it to claim my prize. I had hoped for freedom, but... Well, that wasn't on offer. Only service to the Chief. You wound up serving the Tanakh Chief. The winners of the Kul Root must serve the Chief as his marshals. You mentioned that word before. What does it mean? Well, the word itself refers to a kind of protective spirit from the ancient past. In practice, Marshals are Hikaro's roving lawgivers, part magistrate, part judge, part executioner. I won my place among their ranks and served as honor demanded, but many Tanakh still spat on the ground when I walked by. But they did, until I started forcing them to the ground to grind their faces in it. I guess that's one way to deal with it. As you may have noticed, violence is the native tongue of the Tanakh. To survive, one must master it. The truth is, though, the Karja speak it too. More than they should. I can't blame the Tanakh for hating them. So then, are you still Karja? Part of me, yes. Always. Yet there is much to admire about the Tanakh. Especially their chief. I've heard stories about what it was like before his reign. Three clans always at war, constantly slitting each other's throats. Hikaru and the marshals have crafted a delicate peace. And now he looks to the future. Who knows? Maybe that future will include cooperation with the Karja. The Karja talk about Hikaru as if he's a monster. <laughs> the Karja feel compelled to demonize him if only because he swept them from the field. It is true that he is fearsome. When I was first taken before him, I thought he would flay me alive. But he is no bloodthirsty tyrant like the Mad Sun King was. I think that if you were fortunate enough to meet him, as I was, you would find that he only wants the best for his people. I hope you do speak to him. I'm sure you'd interest him. So, that's my story. You're the first Easterner to hear it, but not the last. The Karja need to know what I have learned. Yeah. The way you talk about the Tanakh is a lot different than how they do. Are you glad to be going back to Meridian? Oh, I'll admit that I wouldn't mind sleeping in a feather bed or 
sipping wine from the southern vineyards. But I have another goal in mind. As someone who knows the Tanakh and the Karja, I'm in a unique position to advocate for both. If Sun King Avad is amenable, my hope is to establish a lasting peace. The Tanakhs don't seem that peaceful. They're not, as a rule. But these are difficult times. Chief Akaro knows that survival often requires change, even if that change means putting aside centuries of war. You asked why I need rite of passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. She walked across the, the line. Threat still exists. Yeah, no, no, it was like... It's getting what? worse every day. She takes off running. Worse. No. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west. And I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs. And I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian. An army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this, to serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important, and it's just the two of you. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you, and he'll listen to- Look! The Sky Clan's banner! Okay, how do they just like flip that up? It's like solid wood. And it's like Marshals. blunk. Like, it wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Uh no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. Can can she passed the line. She has the dagger now. Though. For us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No, the other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. So, not that I'm like confused, but you're like, here's this dagger for safe passage. Okay, I'm on my way. No, 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 no you don't have safe passage. And what was the dagger for? Like you gave me the dagger for safe. I mean. As a symbol, I get it, but gates. this is funny. It's a big bomb. No. <laughs> As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such... Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh! Regala, Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. You'll need more than toothless threats to intimidate us. Exile. Okay, so she has command over it, which is Lancers. different. Pour him up. 
Not only her, everybody does. They're riding machines. Where'd they learn to do that? Silence. Vashav, come with us now, or oh, not at all. Well, thanks for helping the t whatever. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, Sorry, yeah. Tanakh, we're, on your own. we're at peace, but screw y'all, you know. Yeah. Well, okay. Uh. Yeah, way to just take it like a Tanakh. <laughs> we're Wait, Tanakh. We don't hide. We don't seek cover. No. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they're trying to be all tough, like the 300 from the movie. And they're yeah. like, we will fight in the shade. And they're like, we will just, we'll, we'll, <laughs> it's like, okay, that was dumb. Okay, just standing there and taking the arrows is not a good idea. a pretty decent head start to be fair so those cars are gonna die I'm not gonna make it so we're just gonna What have y'all been doing? <laughs> Sir, should we fire? Should should we help out our fellow soldiers? No, it's fine. At least he hit you in your purple cushion that you have around your waist. <laughs> <laughs> got stabbed. What happened? Can you see? It's just us now. Hey! Come down and fight fair! Lancers! Take the center! Get ready! Y'all have like medical berries, right? Y'all can just heal yourself? <laughs> yeah, really. Because I can't. Guys, no. don't worry. When you get low, just eat this berry. It gives you full health. Also, like, if you run out of berries, you use these potions. Are they. And like a bunch of traps. Do you guys also have multiple weapons? <laughs> are they just up there? Or are they coming down? Oh, there they are. Okay. Yeah, they're like... coming down. Gotcha. Shut him in the butt. Where, where, oh, there he is. So yeah, I have something that's supposed to like. It's it's purple. Hold R, tap R two. Uh, like I am. It's not it's not doing what it said, and it's not it's not the purple. It's when it's blue. At least from what I can tell. Oh, Ooh, nice headshot. I mean, he had a helmet on, so it didn't catch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang it. oh I think he just got uh, charged catch. over. What is this actually saying? First, strike an enemy with melee attacks to build up energy on your spear. Like, I don't have to have it, like... Push R2? Equipped, right? Skill... Okay. That doesn't tell me anything. No, because it's an active skill. Like, well, yeah, meaning I have to use it to actually, like, use it. You know, it's not passive. Guys, let us know in the comments. What are we doing wrong? I don't know why that's not... Working. Try it on one of the the. the uh, is, uh, try it on one of the uh, yeah those guys because those guys take a lot more hits than. Yeah. 
it's like the <clears throat> nice. Ooh. Oh gosh. Okay. He like punches the board yeah. down. How did you? Got him. Okay. Well. Oh. Yeah. His. There goes his arm. Retreat. Oh no. Yep. I uh, well, I have. I, I really can't say for you. I really. I'm not saying you haven't. I just really don't know. I have survived much worse than this. It's like they, and Varl's like we've survived worse. And Aloy's like, what have you been doing? I've definitely survived worse. <laughs> yeah, Varl, what have you been up to? <laughs> where, where did this other person? Oh wait, no, that's just a charter. Why not just take you out? Yeah, Varl, have, Some, you, Varl, have you ever uh, fought with a uh, protagonist before? I mean, we always win. So, you know. <laughs> Varl's like, we can do this! Like, yeah, I, I kind of have to. Oh yeah, there's still another fight. You, Outlanders, I'll skin you both! Chief. Grant me the honor of this challenge. Granted. This battle can be pretty tough. This battle brought to you by... Brawl's what dead. was that? Paul's like, uh, and he's like out. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. He's got a shield. Haven't seen one of those before. You're next, girl. And he's got a cool got a lightsaber There's sword a thing. Like that. Scan us. Yes. Can you give us a sec? Please. <laughs> so he's weak to electricity and weak to, I think it said corrosion or acid. And now it's set up. And there. Okay. Now, now get to him. Oh, don't run through the. <laughs> I'll, I'll figure it out eventually. It's corrosion. And probably fire. Look, he looks naked. Like destroyed all of his armor. Oh darn it! He's got his shield back. I think that still works. No, maybe not. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it does work. Oh, that's annoying. It's obviously a different game, but in the other game, I can hold this and, and it takes, go through it. Yeah. You can click through them because it's slow motion, and I can't. I'm used to doing that, so I'm going to sit here and try it for the next however long, and it's not going to work. And I'm also pushing it, thinking I'm uh, doing something else. Run, run. I can probably shoot it with these clothes. You're not stopping me. Come on. Yeah, you could, or he could just run over it. I got him, I got him. Yeah, nice. 250 damage. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. I don't have enough resources. <laughs> Cutscene, okay. <laughs> Your turn. Come down here and face me. No. It was an honorable challenge. You've earned your life to me. Comrades. Mark this day. Today you have decimated the marshals, slaughtered the Karja. So begins our war on Ikarno. We are the strongest of the Tana. I mean, we have like machines on our side, so I don't know if I can actually say it, but that's beside the point. You didn't really there's apparently still some kill knocked them. around somehow. Yeah. Well, it's like, ooh. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember uh, that guy when you were playing. Yeah. Man, I forgot. Uh, this is what, how he lost his arm. Gonna make it? Get his. So it, that one's was the one. He was the one that charged the bristle. Yeah. Back. You're going on without me, aren't you? Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. For now. Come on. Also, I'll why'd you shave? No. 
Oh, I forgot he shaved. Yeah, I didn't even yeah. notice that. It should be it'd be hilarious every time he's in the every time he goes from full beard to like just shaved. Yeah, I don't know what you call that, like the the civil the civil war cut where it's like uh -huh. a mustache. Or I don't know, kind of like Aaron's. But it he has a different um <sighs> facial like he has different facial like, every time you see him. <laughs> full beard to like goatee to like just mustache to like a really small mustache to like a like, super long yeah, yeah. mustache like <laughs> that'd be funny but like every major time you see him that'd yeah. be kind of funny hello um whatever your name is awesome yeah like there is no way they're Sounds carrying those like unless it's made out of hay yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> Good job, guys. Wait, y'all were behind it? Yeah. Oh, such a tragedy. You're like all acting like, oh man. He looks so stupid without his armor. <laughs> yeah, did we just destroy, I guess we destroyed it because of the um, acid, right? It. I should be able to use it to glide. I don't get a shield though, do I? Yeah, we got our glider. No, we don't have a shield. We don't get a shield. What, what, what the heck? Can't make glider is so nice. We're still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Peshav, a massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. <laughs> Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though... Obviously, this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north. With all those machines they were riding, they must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border. But why... It's, uh... It's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? This area is no man's land. That it is. The Tanakh used to attack anyone past Baron Light on sight, but after Avad overthrew the Mad Sun King, he reached out to the other tribes to offer reconciliation. The Tanakh agreed to a neutral border zone as part of the peace talks. Karja and Asuram have been striking out into the area ever since. But now, it seems like Regala and her rebel army have moved in. Well, I'd never call no man's land safe, even in the best of times. The ancient ruins of the Southwest are a testament to that. Remnants of some forgotten war. You said the Tanakh lands are far to the west. What can I expect to find between here and there? Well, as I mentioned, you've got a stretch of wilderness known as No Man's Land, and then new Taru farmlands. Past that are the Tanakh. Their territory is split into three clans. Desert, Lowland, and Sky. Right. I saw their banners at the embassy. The Desert Clan is closest. Ooh, vicious lot. Where everyone else sees an inhospitable wasteland, they see a challenge to dominate. Somewhere beyond the desert is the tribe's capital and the territories of the other two clans. You don't sound certain. I've only heard the stories. During the Red Raids, the Karja army tried to push into Tanakh territory, but the United Clans rose up against them forced them all the way back to the dot. So no one except the Tanakh really know what's beyond the desert. <laughs> Maybe the scholars do, back in Meridian. All those scrolls have to be filled with something, right? 
Fashav called Regala a rival. Someone that Tanakh the chief should have killed. <laughs> yeah, I reckon he should have. She's obviously a huge threat. Her attack was coordinated and precise. Until you got in her way, that is. They knew the lay of the land. And they knew Fashav was going to be handed over at the embassy. If the Tanakh weren't expecting her, she must have spent months gathering an army in secret. They had to have made camp nearby. Somewhere they could lie low until the perfect moment to strike. About Fashav. <sighs> the man was taken captive by the Tanakh. Survived for years out in the West, only to die just short of the Sundom. It's a cruel end for a good soldier. There was more he wanted to do. He spoke of advocating for lasting peace between the Karja and Tanakh. Too late for that now. What will happen to him? His body will be carried back to Meridian. As a cousin of the Sun King, he will be accorded official rights and buried with honor. No soldier could ask for more. Do you think the Karja will take action against Regala? Seems like you'd have common ground with the Tanakh. An expedition of the Karja army into the west could be taken as the start of another invasion. Sun King Avad won't risk it. That said, we can't allow ourselves to be caught unaware by an attack like that again. I'd need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. I appreciate it. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. You mentioned it, but I'm noticing the music. I, I, mm -hmm. I do like... Yeah, I just like the music. I guess that's talking to him. I'd get a bunch of... Uh, I'd get yeah. berries as well, because you are <clears throat> totally out of berries. All right, guys. He still well, has a shield. I can't yeah. get it. Fine. Oh, yeah, you could search him as well. Guys, thank you for watching. If you made it this far and you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. Steven and I are trying to stick to a schedule, and right now, Sundays are upload days, so... Uh, uh, yeah, we will do our best to keep uploading on Sundays. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.